We're all familiar with the spaghetti westerns, you know, the cowboy films made in Italy. Most of them, of course, started Clint Eastwood. But they've also made Japanese versions, the sushi western. So stand by for the Kiwi version. Fake American accents, of course, shot right here. And they're known as the Pavlova western. Dunedin filmmaker Mike Wallace is putting the finishing touches to his masterpiece. Slices of kiwi fruit on top, maybe. It's been a slog. The Film Commission didn't have an appetite for it, but one Oscar winner is tipping Mike as the next Peter Jackson, even putting his money where his mouth is. Daniel Faitawa jumped in the saddle. It wasn't just making a film on the cheap or trying to make a cheap film. It was imperative that we made an authentic Western. A five-year journey all to fulfil a childhood dream. The movie is the world's first Pavlova Western, so the idea is that it's like the spaghetti Westerns that were done in the 60s in Italy and Spain. It's shot here using New Zealand locations. It's a Western romance, the story of an English lady orphaned and sent to the West to live with her uncle. You're in good hands. But things go wrong, and she takes an adventure of her own. <laughs> Mike spent three weeks shooting in central Otago and the Mackenzie country. We had no money for helicopters or anything like that to location scout, so we just did it all from the car. And we just, what we saw, and jumped in. Farmers and musterers also jumped in and allowed the crew of around 20 to film in their backyard. We had, didn't have a lot of money. We had a little bit, very, very little. And we had to just think of clever ways to, you know, um, to shoot it. It's a unique Kiwi film, all done on a shoestring budget. The cast and crew working for next to nothing. If we're buying a prop from it, maybe from the tip or whatever, and you know, we're buying a, a second-hand bottle or whatever, as long as it fits in the world, it doesn't matter that it's not expensive, as long as it stays true to the world that we've created. A world he hoped the New Zealand Film Commission would buy into. They didn't. And the Oscar goes to... So in stepped Jamie Selkirk the Oscar award winner for film editing in Lord of the Rings. This is certainly a, a great honour. He's comparing Mike to another young budding filmmaker he helped support two decades ago. A scene that I really dreaded shooting. Oh, no, right. We could have another young <laughs> Peter Jackson you know, coming up through the system, another great filmmaker, and you've got to give these guys a chance. A chance of a lifetime, Jamie offering the studio to complete filming. So this is like your toolbox. So the idea is it's everything you need to make a feature film. And you, uh, number eight wire. So we built this dolly, but it looks amazing when it, when it, it works perfectly. This is a fridge, a three-way fridge. We've got a smoke machine that I brought on trade me and sushi wedges, and we built ourselves a crane, which is down here. Chairs and tables, portaloo, portaloo, key. We, uh... <laughs> he went to the Victoria University, he went to um, the NZSO, he went to um, Park Road Post here. And they, and they all gave him a good deal to get the film finished, but it was a quite a lot of money still he needed. So Jamie took a punt and donated a quarter of a million dollars. I looked and thought, God, this guy's got a bit of talent. He can, he can size up a shot, he gets a good, pretty good performance, and he's got a good feel for a story. We have this amazing support from all these people. We didn't sort of think that we thought we just had to give it a go. You know, it was, it was, it was our dream, it was what we wanted to do and we've put everything we've got into it. And it was, we don't know what the results will be. You're working alongside some big names. Uh, is there pressure? Um, not really, because I, I always thought that it would be really a lot of pressure directing, you know, doing, doing something like this. I mean, it comes about the film, and it's really about me guiding the film. It's not really about me. Just like our film greats who have put New Zealand filming on the map, behind every talented man is a more talented woman. It's the lead actress is Inga Rademeyer and um, she's a fantastic actress and she's also my fiance. He's extremely passionate. He's, um, I mean, yeah, I am probably a bit biased, but I actually do think he's incredibly, incredibly talented and I think he's just got such a bright future ahead of him. It's way more challenging than you're ever going to imagine, but it's also way more rewarding than you're ever going to imagine. It's incredible, it's incredible, you know. It's really amazing. He'd be in big trouble, of course, if we didn't make his fiance the star. Now, if you're a distributor, Mike is looking for you. His movie's expect to be released sometime next year.